If you've been sleeping on Coach Outlet, I'm here to tell you today, not anymore, okay? Coach Outlet has some amazing made for factory items with awesome, awesome quality and definitely a less price point than the boutique um, arm of the business. Now, for those of you who don't know, the company, the umbrella company Tapestry, who owns Coach, runs two arms of the Coach business. So you have Coach Boutique and Coach Outlet. I did already do a video way back when on the difference between the outlet and the boutique and i'll link that video in the description box below so i'm not going to go in depth i'm just going to tell you that the boutique is their full price store where they sell top quality items that are awesome in my opinion luxury quality leather and non-leather items as well now the outlet sells made for factory items so coach outlet a few years ago began to go by the name coach factory outlet and that's because they began to introduce made for factory items meaning that they produced items that were exclusively sold at the coach outlet so previously where outlet stores were created to mean um, items that have moved from the boutique their past season off season overstock things that didn't sell they move on to the outlet stores from the boutique and then you can get them at a discount. That is what outlets used to mean. That is what outlets used to be back in the day. These days you find that outlet stores, some of them do make made for factory items that are specifically for the outlet stores that you do not find at the boutique. Now these items are a little lower price to reflect the lower quality that you find in these um, factory items. It doesn't mean that the quality is bad, it doesn't mean the quality is terrible, it's just less than the um, full price line items. I'm saying all of this because one of my favorite bags from the outlet, the Terry, has been introduced in a new wilted version and i am absolutely blown away i haven't seen it in person yet but my essay my dear dear essay at the outlet did send me a video and told me that the quality on that bag is very much similar to the boutique bags so think of the coach hat bag at the boutique if you've seen it if you've touched it if you own it according to my essay and according to other people who have seen and bought and felt the terry coated terry bag it's just, it's very similar quality and coach outlet does this sometimes they release some bags sometimes that i think are stellar quality and if you slap the boutique branding on that piece you can definitely get off with selling it at coach boutique today i'm going to be sharing a review of my terry bag in case you were thinking of picking up a terry bag from the outlet let's dive into this baby and see if it'll work for you hi guys it's timmy with yellow sparks joy if you're new here welcome to my channel on this channel i like to talk about fashion and lifestyle particularly handbags so if you find those topics interesting make sure you subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the tiny notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video now i was carrying this bag um this weekend and i decided that i want to switch out of this bag into my terry now this is the coach outlet claire bag i got this about two years ago in this beautiful chambray version it's no longer available i don't think they even make the claire anymore it might have been discontinued or they just haven't brought it out with a, the recent collections but i absolutely absolutely love this bag and i'm moving out of this into the terry today so i'll show you guys um, my slgs and how they're going to fit into this terry but before then the terry like i said is one of my favorite favorite bags from coach outlet let me just tell you now that i have three favorite bags <laughs> from coach outlet the molly 25 which if you're a regular on my channel you know how obsessed i am with that bag the Terry shoulder bag and the city toots. I feel like there's a fourth one and I can't remember what it is, but those three for sure are my top three. And I also have a video on the best, absolute best bags to buy from Coach Outlet. If you're looking for tips, if you're looking for recommendations, I will link that video in the description box below as well. So why do I like this bag? First of all, because I think it is just a cute, chic, shoulder bag like just especially this version so the terry comes in different versions some of them have the all chain strap some of them have the all leather strap some of them have the chain with leather brick i love this one because it is, has the chain and the leather brick and i love bags like that i love shoulder bags with chain straps but i've come to realize that when i wear them they are a bit uncomfortable on my shoulder because the chain digs into my skin but when it has a leather brick it's just so much more comfortable apart from that i think a chain on a bag just makes the bag 
bag looks so much more elegant and elevated and when i wear this on my shoulder i just think it is so so beautiful let me take off my cardigan so you can see that much better i just think it makes it look so beautiful and elegant on my just look at that just look at that strap <laughs> I love it honestly I do it just takes it from regular to special now I also like the Terry because all of the straps are detachable and it comes with two straps so it comes with the shoulder strap and it comes with the crossbody strap which I'll show you later and they can all be removed which means that with whichever version of the Terry you can you have you can play around with it you can attach different straps on the bag depending on the vibe and you have a whole different bag you can carry it as a clutch if you want to i just absolutely love this bag i also love it because of the size it comes in one size and i think it is a happy happy medium of a size whereby it's not too small that you can only fit in a few cards some lip gloss and some mint no but it's still not big enough that you're going to fit the kitchen sink but it's good enough for you to put in your basics your essentials and a little bit more and i'll show you later when i switch the contents of my bags another reason why i like this bag is the zipper pull just look at that beautiful beautiful zipper pull you can see the tab here with the coach um horse and carriage and it is so beautiful it is thick and nice and sturdy and it helps so that when you want to open the bag or close it well opening is not a problem the zipper like i said is really smooth but when you want to close it you hold that there you have that tab to hold and it's firm and you can easily close it like you're not struggling to close like if this was on the inside like most bags are you then be struggling like you might have to hold the bag here and close it but this just makes it so easy and it's not ugly it's not something that is functional but ugly it is functional and very pretty and I just love that about this bag now another thing I like about this specific one that I have is the print I love the canvas print um, the canvas print at the outlet is a little bit different there's some slight differences between the outlet canvas print and the boutique canvas print I love both but I just particularly like this light khaki one from the outlet I think this is a very neutral style even though it is a mix of two colors brown and black I just think it is very neutral you have that basic classic simple khaki brown and then you have that all-rounder uh, brown leather so really you can wear this combination all year round with all sorts of different outfits however you'd be surprised that I don't use this bag that much because of one feature that I don't like about the strap and that is the crossbody strap so the crossbody on this bag is an all-leather crossbody really long nice adjustments great hardware on the end there uh, but it is a thin leather strap and I'm not particularly a crossbody person. I love to hand hold my bags. I love top handled bags. You guys know that. But if I do have crossbodies, I'm very picky about the straps for some reason. I, I can't, don't ask me to explain it because I can't. So for example, on this bag, the crossbody strap is wide. Can you see how wide? It's not wide wide, but it is thick and nice and much wider than the crossbody on the Terry. So that's just one reason why I never use the Terry crossbody and why I don't wear it as much because um, I go out running errands uh, mostly or you know just going to casual places where a crossbody bag is more required than a shoulder or handheld bag. So that's it doesn't really get much use just because of the kind of lifestyle I have and because of that um, crossbody strap that I don't like. I, however, love the crossbody straps on the new collection Terry bags. So if you've not seen the quoted collection from Coach Outlet, it was launched recently. Run, don't walk to Coach Outlet. Run and go and take a look. I'm not saying buy it if you don't want to buy it, but go and take a look at that collection. In fact, you know what? Don't take a look at it. I've done all the work for you. I will link my video on the quoted collection below so you can easily have a look at what that collection has to offer. And you will see the quilted Terry shoulder bag. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It's not all over quilts. It just has a big signature C quilting in the middle, but it's kind of muted because it is tone on tone and all you have is the contrast stitching, but it is beautiful. And like I said, my essay and people who have seen it have confirmed that that Napa leather is 
gorgeous gorgeous so that is the next terry bag i am eyeing and i particularly like that one because the strap is wider it is made of um cloth fabric i'm not sure what type of fabric it is but it's not leather it's a lighter cloth um so it's like a web strap and it's wider it's definitely wider than this one which i think i will appreciate a whole lot more especially for your casual summer outing so i definitely have my eye on that on the terry bags from this newer collection now i was also happy that these new terry bags pretty much have the same interior and i think one of the things that make the terry more superior than other coach outlet bags is because the interior is a fabric lining it is not microfiber or micro suede that coach outlet typically uses it is cloth which i really appreciate i think that a nicer thicker cloth will always be better than a plasticky or cheap feeling microfiber in my opinion so you have your fabric in there very nice this one is just a dark interior you have one pocket at the back and then um two slip pockets two card pockets in the front there and just have that one so you see how nice and wide and open it is this is a beautiful bag that's that's a, like i don't know i don't know what else you guys want to tell me other than this is it i don't know who will not like if you do not like the shape style of bag let me know in the comments why. I, 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 I'm not judging you. <laughs> I just want to know why. That's it. So let me know in the comments below. Now, if you do like this bag, it will interest you to know that some of the variations, some of the prints are currently on clearance. So the good thing about when a new collection comes out, like the Quilted collection that was just released last week, an older collection goes into clearance. So currently, the um, Hula and Hawaiian prints and now on clearance, so 70% off on the Coach Outlet website and in stores. Seasonal colors that were brought up pre with previous collections like Racer Blue and Tangerine are also now on clearance. So if you like those colors, if you like those prints and you like the Terry bag, you might want to check out those bags from those collections and in those colors that are now on clearance, which means that they are 70% off. And I'll link all of them in the description box below so you can just go click and go directly to the photo so you can see them. That's the same way I am waiting and dreaming for the quilted terry in the color lime pale lime to go on clearance because I, I don't think i want to buy a full price because we all know i don't need it but yeah i'll just wait i'll wait for it to go on clearance if it's still available hopefully it is then i'll buy it then there are other colors on clearance like i mentioned also the waterfall is on clearance if you've seen my molly 25 the most recent one that i just got that exact same color in the terry is also now on clearance at 70 percent off so you can check that out as well okay so let's switch bags now from this beautiful denim top handle that i have i have a pair of socks don't ask me why there's a story behind the socks <laughs> but it will not be going with me into my terry um i have my card case this is from the coach boutique the slim card case that i absolutely love because it holds all of my very important and more cards and it has a slim profile so it can go with many of my smaller bags i'm going to put that in here just at the front um i have my card holder also from coach the turn lock c turn lock card holder and my key pouch also from coach as well in this beautiful black pebbled leather you've probably seen this a dozen times in my what's in my bag videos these are essentials these never get changed these two essentials and keys so i'll put that in here as well um i have my key fob put that in there in the back here i have powder lens wipes i'll put that in the back pocket i'll put those two in the back pocket um, i have a bunch of makeup that i just threw in here i should have used a pouch but honestly it's a small bag so and i don't carry that much makeup so i have lip balm hand cream a nail file lip oil that's almost done and my powder brush so i'm just going to throw <laughs> I'm literally throwing all of these. Okay, I'll put the hand cream in the corner and I'll put the lip balm in the corner as well. I'm throwing everything else. Like, there's still so much space. It's almost like, what else can I put in here? Um, let me check. I think that's everything that was inside this bag. Yep. This bag is now empty. And this one has the um, microfiber interior, but I just loved it so much that I bought it anyway. So, and I'm glad I did. But yeah. That one is empty. Oh, no, it's not. I have 
a receipt at the back from Walmart from yesterday morning and I will just there's so much space still in this bag really just and then of course my phone I'm gonna put my phone in there there look at that the whole entire top still has space like see how much space like from here which is here from here upwards there's still space so I've got space in there my keys essential cards SIM card case, a phone, um, powder brush, all of that, powder, wipes, and there's still lots of space in there. So, And it's not heavy. It doesn't make the bag heavy. Also easy to close again because of that tab there at the end. Zip, and I'm done. <laughs> honestly, now that I carry this bag, like, oh my God, I don't even want to put it down. But now that I carry this bag like this, I honestly, honestly cannot wait for the Pale Lime Quilted Terry to go on sale or to get to clearance, 70% off. I hope to God it doesn't sell out because I'm holding this one. It's signature. It still feels good with the leather. But imagine if it was the Napa leather I was holding. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys need to understand the luxury that is called Napa leather. That is the same leather that is on my Coach Hard bag. It is the same leather that many, many different companies use when they want to do quilted items. And if you don't know what Napa leather is, just click on this video right here, right now, and go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in this one. Bye.